like to welcome everyone uh, to the evening's Board of Education meeting. Uh, first item on the agenda is the presentation of the board by NJ R. O. D. C. from Manuel Hot. Can you please stand? Oh, wait. March. Mark, 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 in Mark, time, mark, color, oh, order, cut, ready, cut. Yes, if you would please introduce yourself, uh, tell us your name, what which class you're in, and what your plans are for after high school. Um, good evening. My name is Cadet Commander John Paul Perez. I'm a senior in Gainesville High School. And after Gainesville High School, I plan to go to a university to major in Mount. Good afternoon. I'm Cadet Senior Chief Petty Officer Kelly McFadgo. I am a sophomore at Gainesville High School. And after after high school, I plan to go to Emery. Good afternoon. My name is today. I'm Jerry Robles, and I am in class 24. I have to attend NYU and to pursue career music. Good afternoon. I'm just a Sonic fan in the background high school. I want to go see you guys in front of me. Ladies and gentlemen, we're very proud of our cadets. I want to mention this. These and about eight others pack. Organized and loaded on the trailer 17,000 shoeboxes of Christmas gifts bound for children all across the world as part of Operation Christmas Child. They volunteered during their Thanksgiving morning. 17,000 Christmas boxes going across the world. Thank you, uh, Cadets. Next up is our uh, recognition portion about the Yeah, you may be seated. We've done enough about elementary schools this year, but today uh, we're going to do our second middle school of the school year. I'd like to ask a uh, proud principal, Mr. Lewin Mayers, uh, please come forward and talk about GMS West. Oh. Well, good evening, everyone. Good evening, board, Superintendent Williams. Um, we had to celebrate, celebrate, and celebrate. Um, these scholars have been chosen by the teachers because of their ongoing demonstration of academic excellence and presented the four R's being ready, acceptance, possible role model. I am honored and proud to acknowledge the following scholars. And we have a book says we have been here this fall. That's what I'm going to so have to be celebrating. In that collection, please come on up. Yes, sir. Good evening. 
if you will, please hold their pause until the very end. Judea Hawks, Billy Rodriguez Catana, Nile Slanton, Irene Hernandez, Elliot Santa Maria, Chris Beebe, Benny Lapongo, Trang Wynn, Jarris Santana, Henry Wynn, Reagan RJ Slaughter, Delilah Garcia, Jose Seda, Yannick B. Smarter Thetis, Adeline Montezuma Montezuma, Charlie Edward, Papa Kojo Mourisu Moses, Christopher Ortiz Garcia, Sky Rosa, Katie Caldwell, Elijah Johnson, and last but not least, Hugo Martinez Vasquez. This may come around with me. Let's show that after slide too quickly. Parents, if you want to move closer and take some pictures, feel free. Smile. That's a long time to hold a smile. Keep it going. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. <laughs> And the final recognition now by staff members, we are going to recognize the heroes of the herd. The Gainesville State School System is committed to honoring school level employees for their outstanding service for our students, parents, and community. Well, wait a minute. I'm going to start wearing Wow, let's see. Okay. The heroes of the herd award recognizes certified staff for exceptional leadership, exemplary work performance, enthusiastic attitude. And connected to the Gainesville City School System. The award acknowledges those outstanding individuals who go, sorry, who work above and beyond in getting the job done and for being a true hero using the hard time of year to reach out to others. The recipients serve one Gainesville while aligned with the district's mission to inspire, nurture, challenge, and prepare all students to be successful upon graduation. At this time, I would like to acknowledge. And I'm proud our certified staff award winning for the Heroes of the Herd and GMS Web, our illustrious council, one of our illustrious council, Dr. Monica Haney. Taking from the I'm appreciative of Dr. Haney's positive, positive, caring heart towards her peers and students. She has a spirit of excellence in everything she does. She is dependable, professional. And continually places others above herself. She had a best friend who left the house. Thank you. 
Congratulations. Well, next award for our classified staff award winner for the heroes of the earth and being this with uh like this the field the big shout out to Ms. Maggie Steele, our parent coordinator. Um statement from one of our colleagues. Maggie goes above and beyond for everyone at GMS West. She helps with parent offices, respect on home, home for parents, and leading parents to help their children with education classes. She has never said no, I can't. She is such a valuable asset to our school. I can't imagine doing my job without her at GMS West. This makes the CEO come on. As we move into the district recreation, we've got two items in mind. Um, the first one is what we call project safe, and we all know how precious life is. And unfortunately, sometimes uh, educators and others, in this case, healthcare professionals, are called into duty uh, in the it's a part of their job. It's not what we signed up for as educators, uh, but at the end of the day, every life we know is precious. And anytime we have an opportunity uh, to help that life, um, it's a way to be rewarded. And what I'd like to do is introduce uh, Ms. Tom Wells from Tim Bloom. Ms. Wells is our health services coordinator for Gainesville City School and all the nurses. Uh, while working in the school, we also work with Tom Wells and Bishop Cox. So you guys introduce some of our guests and we'll recognize individuals. The uh, in the Good evening. Um, the Hazel City School partners with Children's Health Care for Home and on a project um, study. Jeremy Rusty and Kristen Durant is here, and we run for Ms. Smith. Um, just to let you know a little bit about Project Save, each school has automated external devices in all the schools, and you may hear a young call that you didn't even show us. Um, this AP room is needed if a person is unresponsive and needs CPR and their heart needs aid to be shot. Um, we have initiated coaching tools to be conducted at each of our schools by our staff so we'll be prepared if the code will be arriving if someone is found on the spot. Um, if there are any um, issues for the program to be in, public study will be placed in the home to be charged. They also can work with us to download the heart rhythms that will get them on CDs. So, if a cardiologist or a physician requests those rhythms, we can take those from our AP brain and send that to the doctors as needed. Um, at this time, I would like to introduce Jeremy Lessing, the Children's Health Care Center, and Christine Moran with AP Brain. She's our medical liaison for the evening. My name is uh, Barry Russell, the children's care of Madison. I've been a nurse there for almost 15 years. Um, I've worked in the pediatric ICU uh, years before I started this new role as a coordinator for Project Save. And on that, in that role, I was on the um, co team as well as rapid response team, telling all the trauma and the community every time a kid was coming in and tried to arrest. And I just want to say there was a huge difference um, in, kids, in kids' lives if the bystanders were doing CPR on the team. And if needed, if they need to use um, to help shock and back to their rhythm, it's a totally different scenario than when you get a child that's been brought in from EMS 
or by emergency personnel in those who care about the disease. Um, the difference is night and day. A lot of them, the young body, the young person will get their hearts back and get their organs back and the will get their organs back. Um, and so the, the big difference is when you go to the ER on the scene, they use an AED, these kids come in, we fix them, they go home and they live a, a long life. So it's very important to do this training. I really commend um, your school district for being so prepared um, for these kind of events. And I work uh, really closely with Christine Norton and uh, the AED branch, she's kind of our main supplier. And so I'll find out that the AED was deployed before, um, from her, before I think about the school nurses and not. So. We're very close together, so my pleasure to introduce you to you. Hello, everybody. Um, so I, I've been with AD Brand for over seven years, and fortunately, I work with a lot of school districts, keeping everyone safe. Um, everybody in sort of heard your seconds out. You know, some of these classes, you need to be quick, you need to know what to do. I worked with Dawn uh, for a while. Uh, she does a phenomenal job keeping all the school staff working with the nurses, staff. Um, and if any person's come up, she's on that phone saying, Where's me? And so, so that's his job. So, it's an honor to be here. So, being in the industry, you know, we hear and see um, several events, and we always hope they're positive. Sometimes we're not. But the key is making sure when you do have an AD program that is well maintained, has the batteries are up to date, and this school district does a phenomenal job doing that as well. So we said, you know, how do we recognize the, the heroes that step up that um, normally you wouldn't, you know, be asked to you just jump into action? So we came up with a coin, a hero coin. So those that you can recognize today will also receive a hero coin because we're all in it for life. And so hopefully, you know, you keep that coin on your desk to close to you. So every time you look at that coin, you know that you were very instrumental in saving the students' lives. So thank you again for letting us come here and then we'll do the recognition. I just want to start out there and I'll come up and you can recognize me all the time. We have a number of individuals to recognize this evening who all played a, a role in a different part in, in saving life uh, of the student. Uh, the first person I'd like to call up is our Gainesville High School nurse, Ms. Tiffany Lane. Ms. Lane. Ms. Ms. Lane reported the news of the AED, but more than anything, she was a solid foundation for the rest of the team uh, when, when they responded. And uh, if you know anything about the Gainesville High School campus, you know a lot of it is up here. And so when you have to respond and you have to give them such a quick moment, there's a number of people that they do that. Also, I'd like to recognize our substitute nurse, Ms. Margaret Gaines. And, and you heard the word substitute. So Ms. Gaines, let's give her a round of applause. Ms. Gaines, you're having a regular job or you might have a little time off to substitute and do a great service at Gainesville High School, but then you're called into action as well. And so Ms. Gaines uh, rose to the occasion. I'm just really proud of that program as well. Mr. David Springer could not be here this evening. They have a six head state championship to get ready for on Friday night. So he, he could not be here to be one of the coaches. Uh, Mr. Springer is one of our campus monitors, and he provided a uh, resuscitation uh, to the individual uh, for quite some time. So he'll be recognized as well. Another person who jumped in for almost 10 minutes to provide resuscitation is our principal, uh, Mr. James Gurney. You never know as a high school principal what you're apt to do when you jump in just because you know you can help. And Mr. Green is the epitome of that. He's always going above and beyond. And uh, tonight we get to recognize him. Also, not able to be with us tonight, there are a few other coaches that are involved with that team as well. Mr. Taurus Hendricks, Coach Dion Williams, and Brad Pressure. Uh, Ms. Taurus was the one who was sitting there calculating and timing and, uh, and letting uh, Dion know in this case that. Here's how many checks the president has done. Here's how much time has elapsed. And Brad Prestridge uh, was the individual who found us and uh, was able to get the help that they needed. And then the final uh, recognition tonight is the uh, Gainesville High School Assistant Coach, Mr. David Turner. Thank you, Mr. Turner. 
In order to use the AED, you have to get the AED. And then Mr. Covington, um, of course, had to connect the dots with one A to one B, get the AED, get it back to the scene uh, for their need to be assessed. And at the end of the day, the individual that you see here with us today, along with the others that I mentioned, um, helped save lives when they came to the high school campus. And if you would join me as we congratulate all of these and thank them for what they did. And we have one more surprise that Jerry P. Mike and Sarah looking about math. So you guys performed um, an amazing feat um, for these uh, two students. And as part of that, we would like to um, officially make this uh, Gainesville High School a uh, hard to reach school from Project Save. Project Save comes from a, uh, from a bunch of academy, which is uh, AP uh, automatic defibrillators that has memory. This was a kid that died back in the 90s uh, by playing basketball. And his parents started with it. It's now a national organization. Um, Most states have a, a chapter where they're first affiliate. And so what I try to do is we try to make all the schools in the state of Georgia are safe. And this training and make sure there's equipment and by running the drill and this, there was a drill in November. And it's going to be another one later. Yeah. So um, you're going to get this banner to you for all your hard work. And um, <laughs> We can have a front desk that you're going to be doing the high school up front. You know, all of this is really good to work. The uh, board readers will probably be back here uh, behind the podium. Congratulations, Thank you. Annually, the Georgia School Board Association has a conference uh, in the winter uh, at, in Atlanta. And this past week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, we were able to participate in that school board conference, about 500 more attendees across 180 school districts in the state. And between Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, of course, there's a lot of training, there's a lot of uh, camaraderie that's built, and there's also a lot of networking that happens. But on the last day, they make you hang around to the very end in order to get an award. Uh, but our board was designated and received the 2022 Georgia School Board Distinguished School Board uh, recognition to honor achieving in the pursuit of higher standards in the local governance of public schools. So, Chairman Stewart, I'd like to present this to you on behalf of GSBA. So, we want to thank board members for all that you do, the hours you put in in front of people, but also the many hours you put in uh, not in front of people. So, please join me in congratulating the board on this. All right, do we have any uh, board conversations? Some well hanging fruit out there. Anybody want to talk about Friday night? Friday night. I heard somebody came out there. Friday night is a big night for Gainesville High School. All of you are invited and encouraged to come to downtown Atlanta as Big Red plays for the state football championship. Friday night, uh, we can get to details or bus transportation if you need it. Seven o'clock kickoff Friday night. Thank you.
Thank you. That ends our recognition portion uh, of the meeting. If you would like to stay in formal business portion, is more than welcome to. Otherwise, this is a great opportunity for y'all to meet. Thank you. Good evening, Superintendent Dr. Williams, Board Members of Smith, Mr. Nautilus, Chairperson Mr. Stewart, Dr. Ramsey, and Vice Chairperson Mr. Mitchell. It's an honor to stand here to provide an update on the new submission to the Gaming City School System, Gaming Middle School Web Campus. As a new school, the culture and expectation will power on to set the direction for inspiring, nurturing, challenging, and preparing our solids. Our core business. Focuses on teaching, learning, and supporting talent. We do not wait from the expectations of excellence in what we do academically, behaviorally, and socially. This evening, I'll take the time to share what we're doing at GMS Press to inspire, nurture, challenge, and prepare our scholars, teachers, staff, parents, and community. Within the inspire, nurture, challenge, and prepare things that we're doing, they do overlap. With an inspiring um, a monthly PBIS scholar and staff recognition on the celebration. We use that to recognize our scholars and academic achievement, recognize the teachers and staff of exemplary work for inspiring our scholars. We also use the visual PBIS reward system to recognize the four arts demonstrated in school and even in the community that we see them doing. Uh, our last event was the staff versus basketball game. And guess who won? I have to say. Um, 
We have a behavior criteria goal, and it's going to develop a spot of pride and we're going to deploy for them to attend. And continuing on with this higher nurturing, a monthly parent workshops have been parent on the bridge of the community. Uh, our parent coordinator has been honored to that we're here with the board and seals. He's been instrumental in bringing the parents and with these workshops. She conducted, she has conducted, and it has inspired other staff members to with a uh, parent workshop, uh, a whole study on thank you to see the college parents. I think you're joining too. Uh, The first one, there was a combination of the parent graduation. It was phenomenal. Um, we celebrated them, took pictures, and we brought the food. And I was like, see how I can So it was great. And we the next one. Um, some of the workshops that we had so far, thus far since August, we had other the scholars of the home teachers and counselors providing tips and strategies for parents on how to put their child at home. The one last week was all about baby. Uh, which is very important in what we're dealing with right now. Um, we also, in the month of September, we had school service program. We opened up school to show parents what program we had, from our ESOL to uh, the counseling, MTSS, et cetera, the various clubs, our morning study hall, what we wanted to do with the parents and what we do at school, what's available to them. Um, also, the CEOs have implemented an ongoing infinite campus sign. We have a goal to want to have at least 90% of our parents sign infinite campus. We want them to know that they can check their grades each time and see if the child has this in science. Uh, it's paramount to have that, that tool in a big store. So if you come back to this weekly, um, every Monday and Wednesday. Further in inspiring, nurturing, and bringing in the parents, we're going to have a teacher in the parents class. Uh, I took the initiative to lead this. It will begin in January. It will be a nine week course, and Mr. Royal and my illustrious ESOL teachers will co teach the class with me. So, looking forward to that. And this Friday, what I'm happy about, we have an all pro dance that's at the end of the start. But um, we're all invited this Friday at um, 7 30. And the purpose is just to celebrate. We we'll have breakfast and we'll have a few words, but it's just to um, celebrate what we do and how we do it. What else can we do? So we all are invited. Um, that's this Friday from seven thirty to eight thirty. So the further nurture, nurture and address the business goal of increasing the scholars um, in tier two and three through intervention. We have our kid data for and this is comprised of each feature within the team meeting weekly. And we just start from the agency, the attendance, behavior, and course progress of each scholar that's from those red flags. So we have a um, We discuss what has been implemented, and then we discuss as a team what strategies we're going to use. Um, we reconvene in four weeks to discuss those scholars and growth to see what strategies did work and what did not work. And on Fridays, the leadership support team, we meet. That consists of the interventionists, administrators, counselors, and the health commission, graduation coach, and school social worker. And we look at the list that was from that Tuesday, from that kid day as well, to provide more safety net and support for our teachers and parents. Um, so, what we're going to implement, and we're looking so forward to this, um, we'll begin in Denver. We're going to have clubs during the day, and it will be on Wednesday during our solid intervention time. We feel these are uh, the least pathways interest in the high school. Um, the clubs were generated by scholars in survey from Centro. We listened to them what kind of clubs they wanted, and it's the, the fabulous teachers are reading them. Um, the list of clubs, that's a few. We have many the animating, chess club, crafting, drama club, school, paper, profit etiquette. Even side of three, uh, these are things that they want to do. We're providing for them. Uh, I'm reading about the Young Men of Distinction Club, and this will be on Wednesdays, as I, was set, as I said. So that will be the agenda. So, address academic uh, support that we're doing within the school. We have implemented Saturday school. Uh, and this past Saturday, we had 89 scholars of training. So, it was soon like a regular school day for my car coming through to drop off and pick up. Uh, also, we have after school on Wednesday. Um, this is provided academic support. And we also have 
what is the call? 7 30 a.m. with the graduation. We have lunch and learn. The teachers develop lunch and learn. Um, some days are just a 30-day time we're going to the media center library to bring uh, scholars who want to sit and all the work that they're doing or work that they might want. Um, so we also have the TRIO program that's in association with the University of North Florida. Uh, it's an educational counselor, and the goal is to increase the number of youths who complete high school and go on to some form of secondary education. It's targeting those scholars where they would be the first to attend this graduation. Um, they meet at our school Monday and Wednesdays from 3 to 5 hours. So, all the programs are designed to provide scholars with academic support and enrichment, and the data are used to tell the learning needs. So, the town now, we have a just in time training, which happens once a month with the staff, this is professional development. And we're focusing on literacy strategies and all the grading strategies. How to look at the work, we utilize group groups. So, so uh, look at the work and really discern where the learning is taking place and where the needs are. Uh, also, in you know, my weekly newsletter to the staff, um, I introduce instructional strategies and encourage the work. So, we have to ensure that, that supporting the staff and that self care is helpful. So, those are the things I'm going to do this weekly newsletter. Also, with Ms. Bo Wright and Dr. Brown of DEA and Money Mill, secondly, uh, we are in discussion of having vertical plan with uh, ELA and Max teachers from middle school to their fifth grade teachers. Um, we want to align and develop a plan of action to challenge the PR teachers and scholars the increasing achievement in all academic areas. And I this is what we all ever see in the East. And something I'm proud of one of my teachers, she, um, Ms. Jones, she was awarded an instructional grant from Chapter University called Bright from the Start. She was awarded $1,951. Uh, she was our eighth and ninth grade science teacher. So this grant provided funds to purchase a set of 10 topic lab voyagers and protective cases. What did they do? These devices will generate a motion traffic of object and system as part of the program. These devices will give scholars the opportunity to visualize motion and motion graph data simultaneously. And does understand why the draft book our application. So she's so excited, I can't wait to see it in play when they're um, utilizing this tool. So, well, I just want to say thank you to you all for the members for providing this opportunity to this school. And I also like to thank Dr. Williams, his cabinet, and the district department for their unwavering support. I have not felt alone in this journey. I know when I pick up the phone or send an email, someone will get an answer and know this is working. So, I feel successful in my role. Thank you. Schmeckers, kind of like you have a lot of good initiatives going on at the school. Um, thank you for what you've done. Uh, any questions for Mr. Blair? Just a comment. We've learned in a short time in there that we are a giving community, we are a giving school system, uh, well beyond our results and our campuses. We have noticed you've got a sock collection project. Yes. Going, yes, so we are giving you lots of socks. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Good take me to Thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. You notice your camera. Yes, sir. You're too cheeky. Yes, sir. <laughs> I can see and I can hear. <laughs> thank you so much for this. And it's all for a whole show. We'll be delivering it this week. Thank you for doing that. Thanks. Any other questions? Oh, teacher, it was your parents. Okay. Yes. Any other questions? Mr. Mayor, thanks so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Someone wanted to be kind to make a person do the honor of seven to eight. Motion to adopt on the second. I second by Dr. Randy, all those in favor. Okay, we had a late addition to the overnight field trips to include the football team and clear there. Yeah, it's updated on your, your document. Motion to adopt overnight field trips with the addition of the football team. Uh, 
and also the uh, 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 so yeah, plus All right, so we, we have amended Roman numeral A, A, uh, all those in favor, say that. All right. Um, that William and Ms. Griffin. Yeah, Ms. Griffin makes her way up. We'll notice the word red that he's spelled and not really. All over here, called well read. We've got a magazine in front of uh, Ms. Griffin and her team have been really busy for the last number of months putting together what we talked about for almost a year. And a lot of things when she uh, started her role, uh, we shifted to a new website, started a whole lot of different things. We shifted away from some others, and this uh, we're glad to introduce tonight. So, Ms. Griffin. Thank you. Yes, we would imagine um, some of our communications that that the world is changing the way that it communicates. And so you know our social media has expanded. And with that, we've also launched with Well Read Magazine. And it's, it's too, uh, intended to go beyond the walls of our school and to our local businesses, doctor's offices, business offices, that sort of thing, so that everyone in our community can learn about what we do. You don't have to be subscribed to a particular newsletter or even be a parent or a student just to learn about our amazing work. So, that's the purpose of Well Read, and uh, this is the first edition. We have to be three each year, so we will have a spring, a winter, and fall. And uh, so this uh, launched the fall edition, and our next will be winter. We'll see that probably around February. Um, we're excited to be working with our work-based learning students to produce this magazine, and so you'll see them right inside the front cover. There we have. Five word based learning students. Uh, one of those students is with me for one period, the other four seniors are with me for six and seven period each day, and they um, serve and help to curate and, and tell the story um, included in this magazine. So you'll see that change from quarter to quarter as we share the story of our alumnus and also the story of our students and our leadership. So we hope everyone is with It's full of lots of fine colorful pictures because we know that that's really. What it's about people. And so we hope that you enjoy that. There'll be an opportunity to be this visually on our website. So we'll launch that um, tomorrow. It will be available to put there digitally on the website. You can also sign up to receive it in the mail. And so as part of that social media push, people have the opportunity to complete a form to receive one um, as part of the email list in the future or in this first edition as well. Any questions? One of the things you'll notice on here it does allow you to submit information building on the legacy of your alumni of the Mesa High School and your child's graduating. And we'll be sure to capture that multi generational option there. Uh, we also have a family in here, five different generations. Uh, but we also share with you what's coming up next. And so when you think about the winter edition and what's going to be there, CP, Winter Sports, Theater Clubs, School Spotlight, we really want to get this kind of on a rotation where we can continue to showcase. Our students, uh, our faculty, and staff, but also uh, just our community overall. So, this is the first, uh, and just really proud of the work that Ms. Griffin and her team have done over this. Uh, you know, coordinating a bunch of work based learning students, we only get them an hour or two a day, uh, takes a lot. And uh, this is uh, the first product of Well Read. And we're, um, we implemented a new email address called Well Read at GCSSK. For those to submit stories, so we hope to continue to receive feedback on stories that we can include to better tell our story. Any other questions? Yeah. Fred, you'll get us ample copies to share. Yes, I have a, a box with me tonight. I hope everyone here received one that came in as well. Yes, and that's one too. Yes, and each school, uh, 1500 actually. Um, each school will receive a box of 100, uh, actually 90, will receive a box of 90 in the morning through the courier. So all of our schools will have a set up. Um, and then again, we'll be able to mail that out as well. Thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Motion to approve Ron Ken. I have a motion to approve Ron Ken. Second. 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 The second by Dr. Ramsey, uh, motion by Mr. Smith. All those in favor? Carried. Motion to adjourn, please. Second. 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 Second.
Thank you, everyone.